In the quiet, sleepy town of Bend, Oregon, a sinister presence lurked the dark, residential streets. The locals spoke in hushed tones about the creature, passing the tales from one generation to the next. They called it the Gremlin, a malevolent being that thrived in the shadows and preyed on the unsuspecting. The legend of the Gremlin began long ago, with stories of mysterious disappearances and strange occurrences. Pets went missing, odd noises echoed through the night, and shadows seemed to move with a life of their own. Despite numerous sightings, no one had ever captured the creature, and many doubted its existence. But those who had seen it knew the truth, the gremlin was real, and it was dangerous. It was a chilly autumn evening when three friends, driven by a mix of curiosity and boredom, decided to hunt for the gremlin. Alex, a tall and lanky college student with a passion for the paranormal, led the group. He was joined by his best friends, Jake and Lily, who were more skeptical but intrigued by the adventure. Come on, guys, Alex said, his flashlight cutting through the darkness as they walked down a deserted street. We've heard the stories. Let's see if we can find any evidence. Jake rolled his eyes but followed along, his hands stuffed in his pockets. I still think this is a wild goose chase, but whatever. It's not like we have anything better to do. Lily shivered, pulling her jacket tighter around her. I don't know, Alex. This place gives me the creeps. Maybe we should just go back. But Alex was determined. They moved deeper into the residential area, where the houses were spaced further apart and the streetlights were few and far between. The air grew colder, and an eerie silence settled around them. As they turned a corner, a sudden rustling noise made them all freeze. Alex swung his flashlight towards the source, illuminating a pair of glowing eyes peering from the bushes. The light revealed a small, hunched figure with leathery skin and sharp claws. It hissed, and in a blur of movement, it darted away into the shadows. Did you see that? Alex exclaimed, his excitement tinged with fear. That was it. That was the gremlin. Jake and Lily stood rooted to the spot, their faces pale. Are you sure? Jake stammered. It looked, it looked real. Lily grabbed Alex's arm. We should go, Alex. This is getting too dangerous. But Alex was already moving forward, his curiosity overpowering his fear. We can't stop now. We have to follow it. This could be our chance to prove it's real. Reluctantly, Jake and Lily followed Alex as he led them down a narrow alley, the shadows closing in around them. The alley opened up into a small, deserted park, overgrown with weeds and littered with broken playground equipment. The air was thick with an unnatural chill, and the feeling of being watched was overwhelming. In the center of the park stood an old, abandoned maintenance shed. The door was slightly ajar, and from inside came the faint sound of scratching and hissing. Alex motioned for his friends to be quiet as he approached the shed, his flashlight revealing more glowing eyes watching them from the darkness. Stay close, he whispered, pushing the door open. The inside of the shed was cluttered with old tools and debris, and the stench of decay was overwhelming. In the far corner, the gremlin crouched, its eyes gleaming with malice. The creature was unlike anything they had ever seen. It was small, barely three feet tall, but its presence was terrifying. Its skin was mottled and covered in scales, and its sharp teeth glinted in the flashlight's beam. It let out a low, guttural growl, and for a moment, time seemed to stand still. Alex, we need to leave, Jake said, his voice shaking. Now. But Alex was mesmerized. He took a step closer, reaching out as if to touch the creature. The gremlin reacted instantly, leaping at him with astonishing speed. It knocked the flashlight from his hand, plunging them into darkness. Chaos erupted as the friends scrambled to get out of the shed. Jake and Lily managed to find the door and burst outside, but Alex was still inside, wrestling with the gremlin. Desperate, Lily grabbed a nearby stick and swung it at the creature, managing to knock it off Alex. Come on, she shouted, pulling Alex to his feet. They ran out of the shed, slamming the door behind them. The gremlin pounded on the door, its hissing and growling filling the air. Let's get out of here. Jake yelled, 
and they took off, running as fast as they could back through the park and down the street. They didn't stop until they reached the safety of a well-lit area. Breathless and shaken, they huddled together, trying to make sense of what had just happened. What the hell was that? Jake gasped. That thing was real. It's actually real. Alex nodded, his face pale. We have to tell someone. The police, the news, people need to know. But Lily shook her head. And say what? That we saw a monster in an old shed? They'll think we're crazy. In the days that followed, the friends tried to go back to their normal lives, but the encounter with the gremlin haunted them. They couldn't shake the feeling that it was still out there, watching, waiting. Alex became obsessed, researching every piece of information he could find about the gremlin. He discovered that similar sightings had been reported in the area for decades, but no one had ever come forward with concrete evidence. We have to go back, Alex said one evening, his eyes bloodshot from lack of sleep. We need to get proof. Jake and Lily were reluctant, but they couldn't deny the truth. They had seen the gremlin with their own eyes. So, armed with better equipment and a plan, they returned to the abandoned park. As they approached the shed, the sense of foreboding was stronger than ever. Alex set up cameras around the area, determined to capture the creature on film. They waited in tense silence, the darkness pressing in around them. Hours passed, and just when they were about to give up, the gremlin appeared. It moved through the shadows, its eyes glowing with malevolence. This time, they were ready. The cameras clicked, and the friends stood their ground. Alex held out a taser, ready to defend themselves. We know you're there, he called out. We're not afraid of you. The gremlin hissed, but it didn't attack. Instead, it seemed to steady them, its eyes flicking between the friends and the cameras. Then, with a final growl, it disappeared into the night. The footage they captured was grainy, but it was enough. The news spread quickly, and soon the story of the gremlin of Bend, Oregon, became a sensation. Experts and skeptics alike debated its existence, but those who had seen the footage knew the truth. Alex, Jake, and Lily became minor celebrities, but the experience had changed them. They no longer sought out the thrill of the unknown, they had seen enough to last a lifetime. And as for the gremlin, it remained a mystery. Some said it moved on to other hunting grounds, while others believed it still lurked in the shadows of Bend, waiting for the next unsuspecting victim to cross its path. In the quiet, dark streets of Bend, Oregon, the legend of the gremlin lived on. Whispers of its malevolent presence continued to circulate, a chilling reminder that some mysteries are better left unexplored.